Okay. Fran Harrison, I'm the Vosca rep on the Children and Young People's Partnership Executive Board. We had a meeting on the 12th of May and um, Kate Oliver, who uh, represents the voluntary sector as well from the Care Forum, and I now meet with Deborah Evans, the chair, before each meeting, which is really useful. We have 15 minutes with her and we can flag up any agenda item concerns with her at that point so that she knows when, when to give us uh, priority to intervene. And we can also make any particular requests. So what's been really useful is, is that we've been able to say to Deborah, um, you know, how can we um, affect the indicator that we all have on the thriving third sector? And Deborah reacted very positively to that. She's written a note to the officers and copied Linda Prosser into that. So hopefully we'll see some attention being given to that, not just on our partnership board, but in the others too. The agenda for the meeting covered the review of safeguarding, uh, work stream group updates, uh, the Bristol and Children and Young People's plan review and refresh, um, an update report from the interim strategic director and the board risk register and arrangements for the board away day on the 21st of July that's coming up. So what I've picked out are some items that I think are particularly interesting, but I would urge you, if, you're, if you'd like to know more, do have a look at the minutes of the meeting as well, which are reasonably readable. On safeguarding, we have already made a request from the voluntary sector to um, adopt the same practice as South Gloucestershire, which give free training to the voluntary sector on safeguarding. So this is obviously being looked into now. Um, it's not a snappy reply, I'm afraid. Um, Ian McDowell is going to be looking into it as part of the coordinated children's workforce development plan and he'll be reporting back at the next meeting on that um, and it'll mean that uh, it'll be if it's going to be provided free it'll be a cost to the safeguarding children board itself. Um, the board is going to be reviewing that relationship between the partnership executive board and the safeguarding board at, at its away day. The next item I think of interest is, is about contact point and this is one of Kate's um, issues here um, in that contact point is going to be brought in as a big database for all children and young people and I've read myself that the Information Commissioner has some real concerns about this and although you can see that it would be really valuable for agencies to be able to put information on that. Uh, Kate has raised concerns about um, data protection and the risks and how those would be managed. So a paper is coming to the next business meeting that we have on that. Um, on the work stream updates that we had, um, I always feel that it's interesting to just hear about how the community in Bristol is changing. You may already know that Bristol is one of the most, is the most rapidly changing in terms of its diversity um, across the UK. So uh, we heard in another part of the agenda that um, whereas we've got 11% of adults who are from BME communities, that that rises to 25% in the school population and it rises again to 38% for children of nursery age. In the prevention and early intervention work stream report we had some positive news about what's felt to be a sea change in culture and collaborative working in the localities and that's through the multi-agency locality arrangements um, you know where the voluntary sector is involved and there are good better relationships between schools and communities. On the challenging side um, where our targets for teenage pregnancies are not reducing teenage pregnancies are not going to be met um, and although we've got a reduction in first-time offenders there is an increase in re-offending um, for uh, in youth and uh, although exclusions from schools are down there is still a lot of concern about the number. Um, in the report from the learning and skills work stream there are uh, we we heard about the increasing meat levels and um, you know that is an issue for us nationally in that unemployment is hitting those young people 
age groups more than the adult population so we're not going to be reaching our target in reducing need. Um, and then on to the children and young people's plan. We had this review and refresh but there are plans of course to bring out a new plan which is going to be for the following five years and that's got to be in place for April 2010. So I would urge um, the you know you in the sector to get involved in what VOSC will be doing with that consultation there so that we can influence that. Our next meeting, as I said, is going to be an away day, so um, we're going to not have any business agenda items for that. We're going to review progress so far, look at representation uh, on the board, identify future objectives and priorities for those and how we're going to achieve them. So looking ahead beyond that, which will be to the meeting in the autumn, we're going to look at the safeguarding board this paper on contact point and we're going to have the work stream updates and also particularly look at um, BME attainment. So, you know, plea to you, if there's any particular items that you would like us to, um, you know, look out for or flag up at any point, do contact me um, and if there's anything else that you'd like to discuss, please get in touch. Thank you.